cyclone which won in the Bay of Bengal has developed into a severe cyclonic storm. The storm is moving north towards the Andhra Pradesh coast. Streams of water from the sea fill the coastal areas. Strong gusts of wind blew down trees and poles. Extremely heavy rains brought light to a standstill in the city of Chennai. More than a dozen cars are stuck in flooded city tunnels. The airport was closed due to flooding on the runway. Our outages were reported in several areas of the city. However, the electricians barely did their job. Most of the city was completely flooded. Cars sped through the streets like boats. The wind speed near Chennai airport was 88 km per hour. while the wind speed in the city center was 70 km per hour. All the city's highways were flooded and railway traffic was seriously damaged. A lot of debris floated on the surface. Flooding in low-lying areas forced authorities to take evacuation measures. More than 10,000 cars were held hostage by the water elements. Almost all the basements of multi-story buildings were flooded. Rescue and evacuation operations are ongoing in many localities in Chennai and surrounding areas. The water level in some areas almost completely flooded the first floors. Many local shopkeepers were hit hard by the flooding.
even modern buildings had roofs leaking due to heavy rain. Heavy rainfall occurred in the coastal areas of North Tamil Nadu. Almost all local transport was paralyzed. Massive heavy lanes forced residents to evacuate from the city. Local authorities brought in rescue teams to evacuate the population. The footage shows how the streets literally turned into ruins. The city of Chennai and surrounding regions were the worst hit. A severe cyclonic storm will make landfall between Nello and Marshall Patnam regions in Andhra Pradesh. Landfall may occur in the Bar Patla area. This is not the first such incident of severe flooding in India.